Hi folks, this is just a quick video to let you know that I'm okay, just to let everybody know that I'm all okay. Obviously I had some weird stuff happen in the last couple of weeks. I got targeted, folks. I had some sort of a weird thing happen and I got targeted. I guess I was making too much of a difference with my fire videos and so they hit me with something. I was lying in bed and they hit me with something and they filled my head full of all this rubbish and I haven't really known what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy. It's been really crazy. And I have no reference point with how to deal with this. You know, I tried to post some stuff online to show you what was happening to me and what I was going through. Um, I thought it was important for people to see it. I've actually received a lot of messages from people who've gone through similar things as well. A lot of people who know I'm not crazy. But... The point being, folks, they hit me with something. I just underwent a coordinated attack. They hit me with some sort of a light. Had I been asleep when that hit me, I would have literally woke up in the morning thinking I'd had an epiphany that I was the second coming and the earth was flat. And that's kind of what I was feeling anyway. And I had this overwhelming impulse that I had to post this online. It was crazy. But all the way through it, I'm thinking, but this is technology. This was technology, you know. My fortunate part about it, that I can, you know, what I find to be fortunate is I was awake when I saw this come in and hit me. But, you know, we hear about these things. We hear about these directed beams and we hear about mind control and all sorts of stuff, but we never really think it's going to happen to us. Well, that's just what happened to me, folks. Uh, and it's literally taken me two weeks to work through this. But I'm fine. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be doing more fire videos. I don't think the Earth is flat. Um, it's, it's crazy how they do it, folks. But honestly, if that had hit me when I was asleep, I would have woken up thinking that I'd had this huge epiphany. And it's kind of freaky to think how they can do this. And this has been a coordinated attack that's been launched against me, folks, because we had that, that build-up, and I had this incredible adrenaline that night before this happened as well. Like, my whole body was full of adrenaline. Then I had this flash, and suddenly I'm talking gibberish for a week. Apparently that day there was a, an article in the newspaper or on online news claiming that mad conspiracy theorist Max Egan is claiming they're starting the fires in Australia with laser weapons, which is exactly the opposite of what I said on my show. And then there was the uh, troll farms came out in full force and started trolling my channel straight away. And then there's also been uh, in a new wave of attack, there's been people that have been releasing a video saying that I've plagiarized someone who's actually plagiarized me if you check the upload dates. So uh, interesting, folks. It's been at least a four-pronged, coordinated attack launched against me. I guess I was making too much um, of a difference with the fire videos that I was putting out. The last video that I put up there, the Truth Trap, I was trying to explain to you what I was what I was experiencing, how I was feeling this interface between this world and AI is actually working, and what these computer screens are actually doing, and what Wi-Fi is really doing. I'm still trying to put a lot of it together in my mind. It really has been a crazy couple of weeks, folks. Um, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. I just have no reference point for anything like this ever happening in my life. You know, I have no reference point of how to explain it. I've got nowhere I can go and read about it. Um, a few people have contacted me and said actually exactly the same thing has happened to me. So a lot of people know I'm not crazy. But um, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be doing more fire videos. Um, thank you to the incredible amount of kind emails that I've, I've had from people. Um, all the trolls out there who've been attacking me, well, I don't know, get over yourself. I'd like to put a personal message out to someone called Sam as well, who I've actually met. Sam came to my house and I was very friendly to the man. He's been attacking me vehemently online claiming that I, I dropped the ball and spat in the face of the fire victims. Well, no, I didn't, Sam. You did, because I gave you all the information you needed to go and act on this. I mean, all the people out there in Australia who are accusing me of dropping the ball and spitting in the face of the fire victims for not continuing to bring you fire reports, I'd like to ask you what you've done with the information that I've given you. What did you expect me to do? Did you expect me to march to Canberra by myself and take on the parliament? And what, you're going to cheer me on and hold my coat and cheer me on from the side? Lines. is that what it's all about you know I've given the Australian people everything they need to deal with this situation and to make noise and to point out to people that the government is clearly responsible for these fires and the weather is being manipulated you know if people aren't going to act on that well you can't expect me to do any more so for those people attacking me and saying that I'm uh, disrespecting the victims of the fires I'm not 
You know, you are by not acting on the information that I've given you, and that's just the sad truth. You know, I suffered an attack, ladies and gentlemen. I was fully put under an electromagnetic attack, and knowing they could do that to me and shift my perspective that easily, you know, all the talk of Manchurian candidates and mind control and all that sort of stuff, they don't really need to do it through trauma-based mind control. They don't need to do it through any of the stuff we think they do, folks. All they got to do is zap you. Sorry, folks. All they got to do is zap you with one of these lights. That's really all they've got to do. So um, it was a pretty freaky experience, folks. And thank you to the people who stood by me through all this. And, you know, to the haters, well, haters are going to hate. I don't really care what you think. Now, um, on, the, on the channel that I've had, the YouTube channel that I've had all these years, folks, I mean, I'm, I'm not your reporter, I'm not, a, I'm not a guru, I'm not a leader, I'm not anything, I'm simply Max, and I'm simply giving you my perspective and sharing my perspective and my opinion about things through life. I've never monetized my account, I don't do things for clickbait, I don't do things because I want views, I want subscribers, I just do them and say them because I think they need to be done and I think they need to be said, so... For those that have joined me on the ride and those that are continuing to join me on the ride, well, I welcome your company and I welcome your input and I welcome your perspective and I hope you enjoy the ones that I share with you. But for the haters, hey, go find another channel. I'm not your leader. I'm not your guru. I'm not your reporter of all that is true. I'm just Max. So, you know, get over yourselves and go troll someone else. And to the people who are accusing me of plagiarism, I suggest you do a little bit of fact checking folks and look at the upload dates on those videos um, i have no problem with relevant sage uh, using my words it would have been nice if he'd put a link below to let people know he'd used my words so people didn't accuse me of stealing my words from him but either way i don't care that he said them i don't have any grudges towards anybody but i think the people that have jumped on the bandwagon to accuse me of plagiarism without um without doing any fact checking at all i think you've kind of revealed yourselves as being part of the anti-truth movement so you know time to get back on focus folks we've got a pretty dangerous situation here and the government likes nothing better than to see us hacking each other down you know we've got a real situation and if the so-called truth movement or independent media or alternate media or whatever you want to call it in australia were to unite at this particular time at this very crucial time then we could actually make a difference. But, you know, people have got to get off their high horses and stop wanting to be right in everything they're doing and realise that we have a situation here and the only way we're going to deal with this situation is through unity. So let's get our acts together, folks, and let's get a little bit of focus. Like I said, I've got a lot more information I need to bring you on the Australian fires. It's been pretty full on in the last week or two since I've been off, off air and offline. Um, I'll get a report out to you hopefully later this week. And uh, we'll, we'll push it from there and see how we can go from there and what, what we can do from there. Um, but I'm back, folks. I'm over whatever this was that they did to me. And I think I'm back stronger than ever. And I think I've actually gained a few insights on how they play this, this game that they're playing. And the reason I call it a game is because that's the way they play it. It's certainly no game to us, but that is certainly the way they play it. So, yeah. Thanks for listening, folks. I'll be back to talk to you soon when I've got more information. Like I said, this is just to let everybody know that I'm okay. I'm all good. I haven't been arrested. These rumours that I was arrested, I don't know who starts all these rumours. seems that you can't you know, take a couple of days offline these days without uh, people starting all sorts of rumours that all this stuff's happened to you. So crazy world we live on, folks. But I'll be back to talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. In luck, Cash.